Welcome back to the Nature Voice channel. My name is William, and today I'm here at, at my Nana's house, and, well, there's two green iguanas on the dock. There was three earlier, although these are considered the uh, invasive species. We, we love them, we don't kill them, and we don't feed them. They've actually been documented in Florida since the 1920s. Yeah. So, although they are vegetarians, and people say that they dig holes and dig out their bridges, um, we actually don't have any holes from them at all in the yard, and they do eat the hibiscus plants every now and then, but that doesn't bother us. The green iguanas actually go through color changes throughout their life. So during mating season, the males sometimes will actually get a bright orange, kind of like a reddish color. And the females usually stay like a greenish color, but they can change a little bit. Um, you can see on the male right there, he has a, a, a really thick black banding around his tail. And some of them just are a solid green color. And a lot of people used to have, own these green iguanas as pets, and then they got banned from Florida. These green iguanas are awesome, and they were awesome pets. I've never owned one because um, they were illegal before I could own one. But I think they're awesome lizards, and if uh, if you live out of Florida, you can actually get these guys at Reptile Exposed and pet shops but keep in mind they can get up to six foot long they have some really really nasty uh claws like and they can also like whip you pretty hard with that tail and bite really hard but overall i think they're an awesome lizard well thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it i'm just reminding you to get out and stay out